Hello and welcome! We have some Twin Ring Motegi here. It's Gavin's hosted race, Griffin2448. This is YouTube YouTube channel, if you are not aware. But you should be. It's a great channel. Um, I'm going to unmute this real quick. I only wanted to mute it for the intro. I don't want to miss anything important. Uh, we're doing qualifying. And we're in the Xfinity car. All uh, important information to relay to you real quickly here. Um, feeling pretty good. There's lots of rubber on the track. It's made a uh, made grip pretty good actually. I say Green sliding three corner. I'm just gonna start that over. That was a horrible okay, out of the line. Sorry everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Let me get the. Let me get put it in reverse. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Hello and welcome. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> Professionalism. All right, here we go. <laughs> For real this time. I'm gonna try to get a better run of those. Line than that. I'm just a little over eager, getting on the throttle a little too hard. And uh, it's a big no-no here. So what, I'm, what I'm learning from Arca and the little bit of practice I've done here so far. Uh, you just don't want to overdrive. You want to be respectful to the throttle you know, give it a give it a good go but green flag, don't overdo green it flag. and uh, you know be smooth it's really a big a big thing so let's see what we can do here I've got 12 to 1 steering ratio help get a little bit more control over my action so I have to focus a little harder on sorry it's focusing I have to um, be a little more cautious of what am I saying I'm sorry I'm drawn a blank um, my brain's dead. I'm sorry. I've, I've erased everything in my brain except uh, racing and breathing, apparently. Um, what was I saying? My brain is numb. Anyway. <laughs> this is already a terrible video. Um, just focusing on being careful with the throttle. And, uh, There's the flag. It's over. Not overdriving. I think it's going to be a very clean race, I will say that. It's uh, 90 laps. Definitely going to have to pit for fuel at least once. And you're definitely going to have to pit for tires too because this place eats them up pretty good. So, uh, hey, nice pole lap so far. David's up here with us. He's really fast. And you know, we got plenty of fast guys in here. So, uh, really, the big deal though is going to be tire saving. I think it's because 1 and 2 is fast, but it's relatively flat too. I think is the problem there. So you have to be real careful not to overdrive it. Even though you can get away with it, it doesn't make it a, doesn't make it a good idea. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be trying to focus on getting back onto the throttle later in the corner. That way I'm on my right rear instead of the right front. All that good stuff. And then of course, three and four as well, you gotta slow down pretty good, so. Watch your speed. And practice a pit stop. Okay, making sure I'm, I unmuted it. Don't wanna miss any important information. So. Oh, are we good? We're about to go. I feel really dumb for forgetting what I was saying before. That's going to be really annoying to people that were watching. We still had to wait anyways, because John dropped out. Oh, that's what I was saying. Uh, I remember now. I had my steering ratio at 12 to 1. And uh, I have to be careful not to turn the wheel too much. That's what I was trying to say. Um, be aware not to... Uh, Use the steering wheel, but... Well, good luck, everyone. I'm going to have the uh, chat muted for uh, the beginning while I do the intro, and then I'll unmute it. Use the throttle and brakes to get it rotated. 
That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, all right. So we get pole. That's cool. Like I said, it's all going to matter uh, how well we save tires. We haven't got that data. Crew chief here helping us out with the numbers. I'm gonna try one stopping. There might be something to the two stop. I think Gavin mentioned that in his um, video leading up to this event. Maybe, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna try to keep the tires happy and do a single stop. I think that's always preferable if you can do it. Less human error when you have to do one green flag stop compared to two, but who knows, I might have to pull an audible <laughs> and do a two-stopper. We'll see. I don't think I, you, I have to worry about anyone running me over. Got a good group of drivers here. But Thanks again for us. You know, be careful. Keep my eyes open. I get to lead the field and get a good jump, hopefully. That's awesome. I don't think there's going to be very many uh, cautions. There are two additional sets I really don't. Uh, I think we, this might be a, a uh, Nashville Super the Speedway situation where I think this track's going to provide some very clean racing. <laughs> it's pretty wide, and of course, it's not just flat out. Outside lane. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Close. Pit road is closed. Be okay. My bad. That's why I did plenty of uh, practice at time for pit stops. I think I got that pretty well under control. I don't know if I'm the fastest with it, but um, consistent. I'm not gonna give myself a penalty or spin it out or anything. Hopefully, so. Uh, as for other things uh, I was changing, I did not mess with the uh, offset at all. Steering offset, happy with where it is. And I've got my brake bias set to 53. That seemed to be a good balance between getting it rotated on brakes and not spinning myself out when trying to enter the pits, for example. So Anyway, I'm very nervous. <laughs> but... Uh, we will be okay, just gotta remember to stay focused. And uh, let me focus, speaking of, to on this green. start. Ooh, that was kind of weird. That felt really weird <laughs> on these real cold tires. We got a long way to go, so I'm going to be very nice, very gentle with the car. Let's see where that takes me. So we got session last lap up. I'm glad I remembered to do that. And uh, I kind of want to try to make sure that even though I'm taking it easy, still kind of try to be on the uh, right rear a little bit on exit as well. Because I want that to wear as evenly as possible. Get on a little bit harder. Because there's also the fact you can like, oh, you know, just uh, only take as much gap as you need. But I feel like I might end up getting just tighter if I, uh, if I don't drive on the right rear at all. We'll see. 
matching race pace. You're leading. You've just done a 37.4. Long corner, so you gotta remember to be patient on the throttle. Okay, Colton. He's doing just on enough. On lap 32, and it should close on lap 54. Just enough to get it feeling a little bit sideways, but not too much where I'm going to uh, overheat anything. I'll give you the bottom here. Like I said though, I think we're sure. gonna get lots of green laps. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh no, who just uh, disconnected? Oh no, Casey. That stinks. better uh, not tire myself out with the commentary here because it's going to be a pretty decently long event, I think. I think he mentioned he was kind of going for a, like, a be open ish length. So, uh, we got fixed set provided by Daniel. He's always got great setups. Feels pretty good here today as well. So, it's um, a fixed race, really but with an open distance. That sounds good to me. See if I'm overdriving. Of course, I've never driven this car at this track before. So everything I know is just from the limited amount of practice at a time. And uh, I'm trying to use a little bit what I've learned from racing Arca with this combo. I feel like some things do translate. I think I want to be lower in 3 and 4. I'm not too happy with how that's feeling right now. It feels like I'm on the right front too much. I feel like I'm slowing down a decent bit enough, but... It's not rotating quite as much as I would like. Bring the car a little lower. We're so good. Got uh, some blue on there. Oh, that's Ryan. He was uh, he disconnected or something, or he was late. I'm not sure, but I saw he uh, connected a little later actually. So yeah, he's up a little more track, maybe. <laughs> Wide track, so. Could use as much of it as you can, I guess. All about keeping the wheels steady. And not using, uh, not turning too much. Might have just need, needed to be a little bit more patient on throttle, maybe, on 3 and 4. Maybe that's the issue I was feeling. Might be perceptive. I need to listen to what the car is trying to tell me, you know. And uh, it was telling me it's binding up a little bit too much in 3 and 4, so... Trying to adjust that feeling. Hey, and that felt pretty good.
So, so far so good. We got a green flag racing. Car's feeling pretty good. You've got the ultimate track position, <laughs> that being at the front. Might need to take a wider entry as well. Use that brake bias to get turned in later. Ooh, a little loose on exit. I tried to drive through it and I didn't do a very good job there. So that's going to lose us some time. Rather be loose than uh, tight though. Get back into the rhythm. It's the Come rhythm on of the me, night. I'm just frying up some tire for everybody. <laughs> Some fresh tires are smell good. <laughs> it's difficult. It's really difficult here. Tires fall off pretty bad, so we well, have to be careful. I do think that maybe contrary to what you might think, I think turn one is actually where most of your tire wear is going to come from. I know, like, oh, you know, turn three, you're going in there faster and it's a sharper corner, but uh, I don't know, it's more banked over here and you're already hitting the brakes in order to slow down and make this corner, whereas the first corner you can get away with entering it harder. And so I'm thinking that that's where a lot of tire work comes from, is from overdriving here because it's much easier to overdrive this one, if that makes sense. You can get away with it. pretty consistent. I could be making making all this up. <laughs> That's just my experience too. So results may vary. The gap behind is now 0.8. Yeah, I like that wider entry. I think I smell some of that tire barbecue. <laughs> I will indicate that I am headed to the inside. Hello, friend. Compromises entry a little bit, but seems okay. Thank you, Corey. Yeah, no problem. Drove that a tiny, tiny bit. I'm, uh, hmm, kind of wary, I'm thinking pit stops here, I'm a little wary of the undercut, wondering if I want to pit like a lap 44 or something. Mitigate that a little bit. I'm not sure. They're a little higher than I like to there. A little harder. Really how I like to take that. But I don't think it did much harm. Feels great. The brake bias at 53. Ooh. You need to stay on the brakes a little longer. Um, feels great. The uh, brake bias at 53. I'm basically not turning the wheel at all, entering the corner. I'm just letting the brakes do it. You've just done a 38.4. Brakes are my steering wheel. And the throttle is my compass. I don't know, I'm trying to be profound. Looks like David might be falling off a little bit. I feel it too, though. It's definitely getting tighter. Three and four. 
I do think um, most of your tire wear comes from entering one too hard, but you feel the effects most in three and four. I think that's a really cool aspect of this track, is uh, you got to do the whole place right. Because it kind of like works together, like to make a good, consistent lap. Like you gotta be smooth in one and two in order to keep three and four feeling good. Yeah, that's much better. And I need to uh, keep up with the tire and mirror, enter a little softer into three and four, be a little bit more patient. I think that's helping out. It's gonna help out my times a little bit. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Thank you. Lap times are consistent. That's what I'm saying. That's going to be the key here, I think. You know, I'm going to watch Nick, too. On that relative. He knows how to save tires, typically. He had some really great videos this week with Arca at Twin Ring. And, uh... He had one of them where it was like the tire heat map, and that was very interesting to take a look at. Enjoyed watching that one. I don't even know how to do that, so <laughs> sorry. That would have been interesting. But I think it's a third party program type of thing. Seems like I'm saving tires all right. Maybe I will go a little longer. Not sure. As of right now, it's just I'm going to divide it in half. But that's just the way I'm going to do it. However, I um, you might see people co start coming in around lap uh, 30 or so if they're going to try the two stopper. I don't know if anyone's going to try it. Maybe. You could see someone, uh, maybe who's a little bit farther back, try it out, you know. See how it goes. I'd love to see that. That'd be very interesting. See how that turns out. But so far, kind of how I predicted. Very, very green. Lush and green. is fantastic. Let's keep it going. Tiny bit, I think. Oops. And I got loose on exit. Bad corner. Less of that, please. Low. Get you on the throttle so that way when I can get on it, I can commit. Get the run off. That helped me all the way down the straightaway. That was a much better three and four that time. Lap times are pretty consistent. One point seven back to David. Two point two back. Oh, two point two back to uh, Nick. Pay attention to what's going on in front of me instead of the relative. People on the apron. There's Casey who blinked out. Oh! Snapped a little bit there. Here, Gavin. Got a little bit too high up. Don't split these puppies too many times. Do I start thinking about other things? Yeah, I thanks. lose my consistency. that consistency back anytime now. 
I'm still trying to work out what I'm going to do for pit strategy. Who is he going to do the two-stopper? He's thinking about it. That's what I assume he's talking about. Someone say one-stop? Stays green, one stop will be the way. Thanks. I'm not so sure. I don't think I have the answer to that. I'm gonna do the one stop though. But when do you make that one stop? I've definitely lost consistency here for a moment. This is just operator error. I need to get focused again. The car doesn't even really feel much different. It's my fault. <laughs> so, let me pay attention to what I'm doing here. There we go. See, look at all that time I was losing by being a doof. up in the lap before. I think it's a little numb when you're not seeing too much in front of you. Kind of makes you sleepy. It's like driving at night, staring at the highway lines. Kind of gives you that hypnosis a little bit. <laughs> Gotta avoid that and stay focused. I got behind just now. What am I doing this corner? That was weird. Took that entry very wide. Kind of worked though. Or if, uh, well maybe that last lap was a okay. bad lap in turn four. I don't remember. Keep it up. Your last lap time was at thirty-eight point eight. Hopefully, getting tighter. Wonder what the tires are at right now. Might have to start lifting a little sooner into one. Not sure. Seems like it might be okay actually. Gotta do that counter steer for sure. It's still loose. Exiting two. That's why uh, I'm happy I have 12 to 1 in that case. I'm losing my consistency in three and four again. It's so hard to get right. Oh, we drove it. Oh, we drove it. Brought it back. Okay. Oh, we drove it just a bit. A little sooner. That's something I need to do, I think. Three and four. Well, that's another thing I forgot about. Do I want to do some shifting? It's starting to get uh, bogged down enough on three and four. You're starting to see the red <laughs> on my, uh, what do you call it? I say speedometer. I think it's like a tachometer or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm car dumb. Believe it or not, but looks like we got some people that might have pit. Doing that uh, two stop strategy. Two seconds back. It's David. Nick's still back there. Look like he has moved forward. Good to keep an eye on all that.
Hey, that was a good one too there. Or again, maybe I just messed it up last lap. That's the one shortcoming of session last lap is you don't know if wow did I actually take that corner corner well or did I just do it badly last lap and I don't remember. I have the short term memory of an ant, so Okay Colton, hit window open. You match your race pace, that was a thirty eight point nine. Good consistency. Keep them coming. So we might get some lap traffic here soon. Very interesting. That's not good for the tires. What I'm seeing up there. <laughs> Looks like he's leaving room for us. That's very kind. Outside. We're gonna come in lap 45, I think. I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. Bite it in half. Throw oh. that too hard. Yeah, divide it in half, and uh, hopefully have just as good the second half of the race okay, as the first half is gone. Race pace. That lap was at Very fun to drive though. Great setup Daniels provided. Great track. Having a good time. Sure. Can't wait until I speed on pit road or something stupid. <laughs> I would not put it past me. Should have eaten before before joining this. I'm missing dinner. I'm hungry. Stand the brakes a little long. 23 pitting out. I'm either going to do 45 or when literally everybody else behind me pits. If everybody else has pit behind me, I'll be like driving God on front Stay longer. A little bit draft, that's cool. The gap behind is now 2.3 seconds. Car outside, clear. Was hitting. Interesting. 47, hitting in. Okay, Colton. It's a pit stop, so everything's Keep getting kind of shuffled up now. Field. Sorry, Cal, I was just trying to get a spot to get out of your way. We've got Davey oh, still no, out I'm behind us. Down the street. Joe's going longer as well. Looks like a lot of people came in early, pretty early. Maybe struggling with some, uh, that tire grip. Might have to be careful and watch out. People with better tires approaching me. I don't watch out yeah, for that. Coming in. Oops. Snapped a little bit. 47 exiting pit. To the thing where I got a little high on the uh, exit. Okay, so David has pit behind us. 
That's very interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, well. We don't have to mess up green flag pit stops now. Oh, there's a car there. This scared me. <laughs> Lebanon, 47, carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Sorry guys, that was me, he got out of drive on new tires and missed my braking zone. Uh -huh. Get those new cold tires, I think that's what he said. That might be bad news for some people. Not sure how this plays out. Get up, 89. Where is the pace car? 11 gallons. It's on the back stretch. So, fill it up with fuel. I pitted. Uh, I was on pit road while the caution came out. So I'm not sure what's going to happen for my situation. <laughs> yeah, I was just coming out. I think it's going to work out pretty good for us. Hmm. Yeah, if you were on pit road or just exited. Everybody that's in front of you will have to pit and you'll get to move up to the front. Well, it's telling me to stay behind the I don't know if that means I'm a lap down now. Okay, Colton, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. Oh, you'll have to get the wave around. You were a lap down for a second, I think, with Colton, since he hadn't pit yet. But we'll get the wave around and be on new tires. It definitely makes things interesting. I don't know if this is good or bad for us. Probably not good. I mean, it would have been better to go green, Two, obviously, for me. One. I think, but... Right here. Hmm. 54.66. Okay, could have done a little better. Good to know. But not awful. Get going! Be mindful, you only have one set of cards now, I wonder if those three laps when I pit before the pit car will make a difference or not. I guess we will find out. I mean, I wear my tires on pit exit for no reason. So, Gavin, are we taking the wave around? Is that how this works? Yeah, we're going to be at the tail end of the lead lap. We'll have to go around the pace car here in just a minute. Alright. I'm just looking at all the drivers directly in front, behind me. I am way out of my league up here. I have no idea how this is going to play out. This is so fun. A lot of strategy stuff. To do some learning. If that had gone green, I think Nick with that undercut would have one pretty good. He was like five laps before anyone else pit on pit road. Really? An undercut? Right, yeah, yeah, I was interested to see how that was going to play out. Huh. Yeah, I've started to ruin in that guy. He just, uh, I almost saved it and it snapped the other direction and went to the wall. Oh yeah, no worries. I think it really helped me out. <laughs> well, I didn't collect anyone else, and I just got a little wall tap, so no harm, no foul. Yeah, you're good. Super easy to lose these things on exits with the, new, the cold tires. So loose. Absolutely. Especially if you're used to, to it feeling tight. Well, you get so tight at the end of the run, you almost forget what the beginning of the run felt like. Yep, yep. Exactly what I was saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they get it. They get it. I have a question. I'm eight laps down, and I'm fourth in line behind the pace car. Getting ready to get a, a wave around, so I start in the back of the field, because I definitely don't want to screw it up for someone else. That'll happen here, right, in just a few moments? No, you'll, you'll go to the back. Uh, it'll tell you to drop to the end once we get the one to go. It'll put all the lap guys in the back of the field. That's uh, cool, because this first time... On this track, and I was going to want to screw up and uh, take everybody out. Here's all the way arounds. 
Yeah, you're good, man. You've been good out there. Uh, yeah, I think he's actually going to be in front of the waiver on cars. Yeah, yeah, I just got the waiver on. Um, Alright. So, we got fresh tires. We've still got first here. I think we're okay. I think this is good. Fresh tires and still P1. Oh, the truck race just started. Maybe I'll be able to catch the end of that. Bristol third this week. I need to take a picture of this. This was the got a notification on my phone. Top ten. So what we got now? That shook it up for sure. Oh, I'm scared of Mitch back there though. <laughs> He's fast. That might end up scary. Go green, stay focused. Oh, God, I'm gonna be doing the cold hey, circle here. Be ready. Oh, my gosh, green flag, I, green flag. I think Joe just completely missed the start there. Got this weird spot again where I'm not really sure how hard I can push this. I gotta remember how uh, old tires feel. Ah, damn it, guys, my bad. Uh oh, now we got more cautions. Cautions, breed cautions. I'm gonna have to start uh, varying my restart times. So they don't know when I'm gonna go. That was my fault, guys, I'm sorry. All good, you guys look like you kept it going. Yeah, I saved it. Base car on the back stretch. Well, why are we under caution then if you saved it? Race control, what are you doing? <laughs> so, one thing I don't want is some weirdly timed cautions after we get some laps and then do you take tires, do you not take tires, that kind of thing. That's something that's definitely I've made a about causing problems cars right now, but I felt fun, so I can't talk shit today. Pit roads open. Pits are open. Good time to rest my foot. Take a nice stretch. Maybe get a drink of water. Well, in his defense, I might have hit the brakes a little early to avoid people in front of me. That's not his defense. <laughs> Be aware of uh, what's going on in front. So Mitch was talking about how he was no good in these cars, and now he's sitting in second. You had the position when the yellow flag came. Yeah, I got pretty lucky to hurt that yellow. If I had to pit under green, I'd have been toast. I was literally going to pit the next lap. That was pretty close too. It's almost 45. I'm gonna pit at 45. I was on pit road when the caution came out. It was definitely a weirdly timed caution. What did you say, Joe? <laughs> oh, I must have been on sleeping pills on that last restart. <laughs> I wonder what happened. I was wondering what happened if, like, you was accidentally in fourth or something. Uh, my car felt like it was going all over the place. I don't know if it was air or if I was spinning up the tires or what. All the way down the front stretch, I was having to leave and wobble. Oh, count my laps down. <clears throat> Yeah, it spins the tire, fresh tires on this surface too. Didn't really experience any tire spin. I think. It's closed. I wonder if those guys are maybe on the banking a little bit, and that might be causing them to be feel a little unsettled. 
So what's the field look like right now? I'm curious because that really shook it up. We got Mitch behind us now, which worries me. <laughs> we'll see uh, what he's got for us in this second half of the race. We got Joe. I think also stayed out long enough to benefit, maybe. I don't know. So Gavin, what do you think? Fifth. Next hosted race on the road course here. <laughs> Down in fifth. Yeah, I think with the next gen cars, maybe. <laughs> Nick. 11. That would not be fun at all. <laughs> Even back in 12th. I'm sure he'll be back yeah, up here. Yeah, honestly, that just sounds terrible. <laughs> Gavin in 14th. I know he's fast. Yeah, doing 87 cars on a know, super speedway at some too point. Many people here, cars out, so. it's not closed. Hey, I'm all for doing stock car on a road course. <laughs> As long as it's not the next-gen car. Yeah, me too. I was going to say, next-gen, not really a stock car on a road course. I don't know if I've raced the next-gen on a road yeah. course yet. I typically these avoid that car, fun, <laughs> actually. Yeah, these cars, the Arca cars, are my favorite ones in the game. One to go. Right, Nick, come on by. You'll be lying on the inside. Doing a road course, it's got to be Laguna. I was getting damage sick, so if anybody says you need to let the 47 around, don't worry, I'm coming. Now, the road course here is great. I've never been to the road course. I just bought this track for uh, for this week in Arca. So, this is all brand new to me. Just got to make sure you pit in the right pit. It's really an awesome two-for-one, too, because uh, I really wanted to expand my road course catalog. And... Uh, Hopefully there will be some road series that come to Twin Ring as well. I can join up more of those. I do really enjoy road racing as well. Especially like the, uh, the Mazdas and the um, USF 2000 I've been really enjoying. Though I might have to uh, migrate to one of the F3 or F4s or something. <laughs> Since the participation's a little low unfortunately in those. About to go green, stay focused. Green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Okay, Still don't know how hard I should be pushing on restarts there. Seemed to work fine. But it's so hard because you're entering so much slower, so like how fast should I be going? I don't know. But uh, this is a little strange. So I don't want to give up first in case we start getting caution after caution or something. We're currently setting the pace. That lap time was 38.1. I don't want to burn the tires off either, because we do still have plenty to go. Just going to have to keep an eye on Mitch back there. I think I'm just going to have to run to a pace. back there. Don't make me turn this car around. <laughs> We're fighting in the back seat. Oh, I don't know. See, this is what's going to be a problem, though, if we get, like, a decent run here, and then get another caution, and then we're going to have to make some tire decisions, and that's how I lose my good run. As if I guess wrong on that. In that game.
smooth. Mitch is definitely fast. You nervous back there. Shallow. Lost some time doing that. Be consistent. Not just going on in my head right now, other than that. I'm trying to hit the same lap every lap, you know what I mean? Assuming that the lap I'm copying is a good one, of course. Getting a little bit of time behind us. Just a tiny bit. Maybe I'll back it down a little tiny bit. Let's do what I said and drive to a pace. That was not good though. Got loose there. I had to chase it up the track. That was, uh, too loose. I think I got on the throttle a little bit too hard. Come on. Back into the rhythm, please. Our apex is better here. Aiming for. I'm getting on the throttle too soon. Why am I falling apart? Stop doing that. Better three and four that time. Apologies if you can hear some weird noises. We had some maintenance issues in the abode today. <laughs> so, getting that all figured out. Might be hearing that. Maybe not, though. I recently improved my audio. Hopefully it sounds good. So maybe you don't hear it at all. Or maybe I need to improve the audio more. <laughs> Hopefully it sounds okay, though. back there making me nervous. Still thinking I need to be more patient at a four. I think I need to get on the throttle a little harder and onto the right rear a little more. Mm. I 
feel like this run's not going as well this time. It's all in my head. That's what I need to do. I need to get the car rotated on throttle a little bit better. I'm getting away, <laughs> away from that. I think part of the problem is I'm nervous. And it's making me not want to overdrive, but it's making me underdrive and exits. I really love turns one and two here, though. Really enjoy driving it. I think Nick described it as like Darlington's one and two, but without the wall being an inch from your face on your on the right side of you. And I can see that. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Too low there. Too shallow. Yeah. Taking deep breaths. That lap was at thirty-eight point one. For your training. Zen. <laughs> and drive on that right rear. Alright. And a little bit of that consistency back. Just done a 38.1. Car and apron is out of the way. No harm there. And a little bit more room behind us. I like seeing that. That though, a little bit. Get loose on exit. Oh, it was really bad. That was really bad. Oh my god. So much for that extra room. That was not good. That was probably the worst mistake I've made this whole race. Oh. Okay. Can't let that throw me off too much. But that was really bad. Um, I couldn't fight off the loose as well as I thought I could, and it just kept me in sideways. It's not what you want. You've just done a thirty-eight point four. I definitely do not want to lose this one. After spending so much time out here up front, that would be a heartbreaker at this point. Let's hit our marks, huh? The brake, point the car towards the apex. Alright. Ten faster that lap. Stop. Cup times are pretty consistent. A little hard, but I think we're okay. The captain Grunowski behind is now not protected. Oh, did Mitch get a little loose or something? We gained a couple tenths, I think. Mm. 
Oh, there's David again, I just now noticed. He's probably been there a while, but he has made his way back to fourth through the field. That suggests to me that track position, uh, position is very important. I mean, it always is to some degree. But, I mean, obviously he was very fast competing with us for a large part of that first half of the race. We're just now getting back up there. Interesting. And now the second behind us. Was at 38.4. We have a car on my apex. Inside. Okay. <laughs> we have survived. A little worried for a moment. We're good. that car in front of us go. There was a car there, right? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Might be losing my mind. It's the uh, highway hypnosis again. I've fallen asleep. This is all a dream. It's actually, I crashed out on lap four. I fell asleep. And I've been sitting on the track the whole time, and everyone's yelling at me, and I've already been banned from both Gavin and Nick's channels. <laughs> what a turn of events. What a plot twist that would be. I do have less stable internet at my new location that I have had in the past. So there's a non-zero chance that I lose internet connection at some point. Oh, uh, that might have been who was in front of us, Casey. It's the second time I believe he's had connection issues. That's too bad. At least he got to do some racing with us. But uh, <laughs> there's a non-zero chance that my internet decides to uh, push me off the cliff, okay, that's good consistency. but Keep it up. let's not think like that. I might just stay in Japan after this week. <laughs> I like this place a lot. Ooh, we drove that a little bit. Back on exit. Mitch has fallen off hard, it looks like. He's now 1.8 back. Dang, I hope Xfinity goes here for, uh, an actual official series at some point. Feeling pretty good. I think Joe's gonna overtake Mitch for second. How about that? So Grunowski behind is increasing. It's now 2.6. That lap time was 38.5. That feels great. Car feels good. Oh, I haven't even mentioned my paint scheme yet. That's something to talk about. Um, I switched it from the old Blockbuster paint scheme. It finally went out of business. Sad days. Uh, <laughs> now I have um, a scheme Your lap time was representing a game called Draft Master 2. It is the sequel to a game that uh, it's kind of like low-key. I don't think uh, it's too well known, but uh, it's just like a little fun app game that I like to play. Where you uh, essentially do like super speedway racing, but it's just like a top-down. Oh my god, I'm 
over driving. We'll talk about other games. By doing like that killed Frank Front right there. Let me not throw this away talking about Draft Master. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a it's a fun little game. I do recommend it. If you just want like a fun little quick game to play. Um, top down, you like it's all about shifting lanes and every race is a is a uh, like super speedway style thing. Real simple, you just move left or right. You don't even like push throttle or anything. And uh, it's kind of just representing the concept of super speedway racing, just for a little quick thing. And you uh, you can you start off with like one kind of like lower tier driver, like maybe you start with a Rick Ware racing car. And uh, when you finish well, you unlock get like little tokens and if you get enough of those tokens they each represent a certain driver you unlock that driver and each driver has like a different skill like one's a closer which means you get drafted from farther back and then there's one like dominator where you're faster outside of the draft than other competitors so it's got enough complexity to be interesting without being like too complicated that you can't just pick it up and play it real quick and obviously not sponsored or anything, but it's a super fun game, and it's just made by, like, one guy who's also a fellow iRacer, I believe. I'd say his name's, like, Josh or something, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but it's a very fun little game. It's free. So I recommend it. Huh. Bottom will be wide open before you leave. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Clear out guard if you want it. Yes, sir. You could slow him down a little bit for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. That lap was a 38.7. So, we're uh, drawing to a close here. Joe's had a fantastic run. He's got a channel of his own as well. If you want to check out his perspective, see like how the strategy ended up playing out for him and such. I know I'll be watching all kinds of different angles of this one. That's always a lot of fun with these hosted races. Lots of people in the in the community upload their races and stuff. It's always really cool. So I imagine I'll be checking out some other uh, perspectives. In addition to, of course, Gavin's and Nick's. Shifting for fun. What is it, crazy? Why would you do that? You don't need to. Uh uh. I just wanted to do it. Five laps to go. Five. Five to go. Seemed to be just about as fast shifting. I, I wasn't gonna, even if it was a little faster, I don't think I was gonna bother. I'm just adding more chance for human error. And that was my nickname in high school, so. Thank you, Dustin. <laughs> the human <Yes>, error. <laughs> what a nickname that would be. Bottom will be. Thanks. Great. And I know I'm going to be hungry after this one. Like I said, I haven't gotten dinner yet. <laughs> I bet nobody, literally nobody cares though, so I'm going to stop talking about food. I have a bad habit of eating like once a day. I just forget to eat. I don't know. It does feel like maybe I... Got a little tighter this run. Kind of hard to tell. I don't really have someone as close behind me that I can compare to. I haven't really been watching it relative anymore. So I think I get this one. Yes, sir. Let's not forget, though. We could get a we could get caution. 
And I do distinctly remember hearing that Gavin put one green-white checker in this one. So what's waiting there, hidden in the dark, ready to ruin my race if I don't get to this white flag soon? So. Plus the internet thing. Things can happen, man. Near stray. I want straight into me under the top of my head. This could actually still be a dream, like I said. Still against the wall on lap four. Sound asleep. The gap behind is now 5.5. But if it's a dream, don't wake me up now, because we're coming to the white flag. Isn't that the worst, man? If you have like a really good dream, and right before like the best part happens, like you wake up. And it's the alarm, and you have to go somewhere you don't want to go. Like, oh, I'll do it. The dentist. That's just what I wanted to do today. I just won the lottery in my dream, and I was about to spend it on... I don't know. Eye racing? <laughs> trying to think of what I would spend it on. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, just about to spend it. I wake up. I have to go to the dentist now. What am I talking about? Anyway, one more shift for fun. Come to the checker. Yeah, that was pretty fast, actually. Woo! Hey, good win, Colton. Thanks, great race. That was a lot of fun. Well done, Colton. Great win. You I deserve did that win, today. Colton. You won. Yeah, we did it. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Yeah, great freaking race, guys. That was awesome. Love doing that. Good win to Colton again. I told yeah, you this win, had some Nashville Super Speedway vibes. <laughs> good win, Colton. You were fast. Fun racing, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was great. Thanks for hosting, Gavin. Mad respect, Colton. Good job. Yeah, thanks for coming out and beating us. That was awesome. <laughs> great run. Gavin, you had a good run there, coming from the back. Yeah, we had some good racing back there. Okay, the race that good. last run. Plenty of room to do burnouts. That pack was awesome. That's <laughs> just so fun. <laughs> That's win number two in Gavin Posted Races, yes! I had a front row seat for that whole thing. Almost killed Nick at one point. Gonna burn out I good saw that. <laughs> I was like, whoa! Great race, though. I don't really like to do like a Polish victory lap, but that might be like showing up a little thanks bit. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to come across that way. So we'll finish our yeah, little burnout here. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I wish, right? Putting Draftmaster, too, on the map. Oh darn, I can't show my tires yeah, anymore because uh, I killed them. That little, that little, that little that we had, that we had, was fun. <laughs> yeah, I knew that you and, uh, I think it was the 89, they were going to get me. I thought I might have something for Colton early and I just completely roasted my tires trying to get him using a different time zone. Thanks for the yeah, uh, host, Gavin. That was fun. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like you hit a brick wall. Apparently I'm not pushing hard enough because I've got like, my back front still at 72. I'll put the tires since everyone else has, but... Thanks for the host, Gavin. Thanks for letting me race with you guys. It was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks to everybody for coming out. Super fun doing these hosted events. <laughs> yeah, thanks again, Gavin. Appreciate it. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, that was I awesome. finally uh, was able to make it to one. It landed at the right time for me that I could come in and do it. So great racing with you guys. A lot of fun. Hopefully next time I won't stop in my ass into the wall. <laughs> I hope he doesn't feel bad about that. It was an honest mistake and a very easy one to make. Hey, Gary, I love watching the uh, Nick Nibbins videos with you and him. And all these different series, it's cool to see you guys race. Cool to be racing with you guys in person. Yeah, these oh, are yeah, thanks fun. for coming. Always fun racing. We always, we're like exactly the same pace, basically, so it's always really good racing. Oh no, Corey had trouble. Well, at least it gives me a chance to see where I'm at and what I need to work. He's far too, so hopefully I didn't get in anybody's way and didn't cause anything. I didn't experience any trouble. 
speaking of trouble, we're looking at it again. Speaking of trouble, we're looking at it again. It's down a little bit. Oh yeah, thanks for coming. We raced pretty well. You were right there with me for a long time. I burned up my right front, which I normally never do. I got to 37% on the right one. Just a minor incident so far, almost nothing. Just some wall hits, wall taps. For the most part. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll hurt the entry and exit a little bit with that right front. That's pretty hard hit. Probably just the really hard race and you get to where you're turning the wheel more than you realize and just burn it off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was turning it really hard there towards the end, just trying to get it to turn. But... Okay, it was fun. Hope you get another one going here and see them. Oh no, overcorrect a little bit. I think that's probably what I would look like if I had 16 on. I think 12 on really helps. That's just me, though. And you guys are all pushing pretty hard from what I saw, Daniel. You see a lot of people getting in the wall on the, on the straightaway. That's because this thing, the Xfinity car, for whatever reason, it gets so unsettled on the straightaways. It sounds. It's hard to explain unless you've driven it yourself, but it's absolutely super drifty. <laughs> Nick was blocking Gavin, that's hilarious. I can't wait to watch the other perspectives. I've watched both Nick and Gavin's like every single video for like the past year. <laughs> I'm ad addicted to YouTube, I guess. I'll put it on and listen to it like radio style on my way to work and on my way home from work too. I got nothing better to do, I guess. <laughs> this wall hits. Not too much to see. I'm gonna go a little faster, I guess. I don't think we, uh... You're gonna see too much else. Everybody was very kind to one another, and we were green the whole first part of the race until we had the, uh, the caution. We'll see what that, uh, looked like. He'll be coming up here in just a moment. Oh, hold on. Keith. I remember him. I've seen his channel before, too. He has a channel. Yeah. Right? Yeah, red line every day. Yeah. Shout out to his channel, too. I think I know there's multiple people that have channels. For sure. So keep an eye out for those. We just got some more wall hits. This is like the really tight part of the run. These are guys are still on their first set of tires. You can see the car's just not turning anymore for a lot of people. And you're out there. Oh, and here's the spin. What happened? So he was on the new tires, he said. Ooh, and just went into three too hard. I usually break around the, uh, the 100 marker or a little bit before. Like, uh, for tire saving purposes, usually, I don't know, like a third of the way. <laughs> yeah, this is hard to describe, but like maybe 120. If you were to pretend there was a 120 there, maybe where I start breaking. And it looks like he went much too far and tried to save it over cracks. And then, oh, would have been fine, but the, the wall bounced him around and uh, backwards on the track. Brought the caution out. But uh, very understandable. New tires for sure, too, didn't help out that situation, being able to uh, keep it under control. And uh, I don't think it really, uh, I mean, it hurt some guys, but worked out pretty well for us still. Was this a caution? I don't remember. That's cold tires. That's definitely cold tires. Ooh, maybe reacting to what he's seeing in front of him, too. Yeah, lots of guys having trouble. And they just kind of snapped on him. He couldn't uh, get it up, looks like. I've been there. I've been there before. Oh, no, and then the 24. Just uh, in there a little hard. Harder than the guy is in front. 
I remember them talking about that. They were very understanding about it, which is nice to hear. And, uh, three got a little bit of it, too. Hey, I'll kept it going forward, but I think this did bring out a caution, didn't it? I do believe it did. Yeah, he got sideways enough, I suppose. You saw an exit into the wall in front of Gavin. Scary moment. back to some of the wall hits. What is Mitch following me? Did he get the wall? No, that's nothing. I like how we both hit Daniel at the same time on that. <laughs> Are we going to be able to see that soon? Ooh, some tight racing right here. Eric comes and gets Nick. Uh-oh. Don't poke the bear, what are you doing? <laughs> Everyone saved it. Oh, Gavin's right there too. I'm kind of uh, in that top 10 area, 5th to 10th, kind of. No! Bit of self spin. He was hitting Daniel. <laughs> That's hilarious. He was beating him up. What are you doing that for? He fighting the setup. That's how you're going to thank him? Hashtag thank a Daniel. More like it. Instead of beating him up. Denting his bumper. What are you doing? <laughs> Overdrive three. Oh, that was a heavy overdrive. That hurts. I'll give you a jolt. Mitch trying to keep up. Uh, ooh, just barely keeping out of the wall. That might have been, um, some of these might have been, um, the times where we gained a surprise tenth or two. Um, because even though he's able to keep it out of the wall, he might be having to lift pretty hard in order to avoid, avoid getting into it, so. No, Gavin, get under the wall a tiny bit. Either getting wobbly on the straightaway or maybe reacting to a uh, guy in front closing the door there. Didn't look like they were that close, but maybe it looked closer from inside. Not sure what the truth was there. Ooh, over. Wow, that definitely gave it a lot of time. This was. At the point where uh, Mitch was really hurting on tires, I think. So, oops, what happened? Well, he drove in there really hard. I think he kind of missed his braking marker, maybe. Or maybe he has been driving in harder to three the whole time, and it's just not working anymore. But you remember, like I said, I'm braking like at like right here, but you hear he's still in it until like almost there. And I think maybe he just might have overgrown it, drove it real bad this time, perhaps. That hurt him there. That's gonna... That was Joe, right? Coming in to get second? He had a great run. Oh yeah, Josh, I know him from the, uh, from Gavin's Discord. Also with the channel. <laughs> Always cool having everybody in uh, in one race. Feels like a uh, like an all star race or something. It feels like Super Smash Brothers. Like all the Nintendo characters are here. I don't know. That's probably the nerdiest thing I've ever said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. coming up on lap traffic a little bit there. No harm done. Coming to a close with the incidents. Too much left to go. I think uh, we might be seeing guys hitting some critical points with the tires. I like the Pinzo scheme. And I think that's it. I think that is the end of the race. Yes, it is. All right, so we got the win. That was awesome. Very exciting. Very fun. 
Great track. Love the track so much. Twin Ring is great. Really glad it got added to schedule this uh, this season. Thank you to Nick for proposing the idea. I was happy to support it on the forums. And, uh, well, I guess I'm just buying a home in Japan now. This is where I live now. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you around again next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.